I'm Joe Brufi from Valpo Law. I'm the Director of Student Relations. I um, want to welcome you to the school and let you know that my door is always open if you need any advice or any help. That anything that I can do to help you, um, know that you can come and see me. I look forward to getting to know all of you and um, expect you to have a wonderful experience with our family here. I hope you love this place as much as I do and um, welcome. Hi. Welcome to Valpo Law. I'm Sally Holterhoff, one of the law librarians and legal research professors, and i um, really glad that you're going to be joining us. You are going to be starting a great new adventure as a law student, and the other librarians and I teach the legal research class, so we'll be seeing you every week in class, and we are always excited to meet a new group of 1L students and find out about their lives and get them get to know them and for them to know us. So we want you to be sure to remember our doors are always open and we're here to support and help you do your legal research assignments. So be sure to stop by. I'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Hi and welcome to Valparaiso University. My name is Bethany Lesniewski and I'm the Director of Academic Success here at the Law School. Uh, my department, Academic Success, is um, here to help you make your transition to law school a little bit easier. Um, and one way that we help you do that is by hosting 1L workshops during your fall semester covering uh, topics such as note taking, stress management, outlining, essay writing for law school. Um, and so you'll get a lot more information about that um, in orientation. Um, so I'll leave you today with just one quick piece of advice, and that is to not be afraid or to be shy um, in seeking out help if you ever need it. If you ever feel stressed out or if you feel like you need some help academically, my door is always open. Um, and again, I just want to welcome you to Valparaiso. Um, we're happy and excited to have you join our community here, and I look forward to getting to know you this semester. Thanks. Welcome to Valpo Law. My name is Bruce Berner, uh, and I'm a, a teacher here. I teach criminal law and torts. This coming year, when you're a first-year law student, I will be a 49th-year law student. Notice lawyers learn their entire lives. It's a little bit like the term we have for the work they do. Some people do their jobs. Lawyers just practice their jobs and they practice it with a very special toolbox. Notice that clients never leave with a product in their hand with tangible goods. We use our toolbox, we read, we think, we talk, we write. But for many of our clients, that makes all the difference. Good luck, see you in August. Welcome, um, so you're coming to law school, and, uh, well, I hope you survive law school. <laughs> if you do, you'll meet me. I'm Derek Carter. I teach criminal law, criminal forensics, criminal constitutional procedure. In my classes, we travel. We go to New Orleans in forensics. We go to Chicago to view autopsies. We go to Indianapolis to view the crime labs. We go to the gun range. We do many things in terms of connecting law with life. So where you'll find your first year, you'll dig in, you'll get it all together, but soon you'll find some bit of happiness with law. And I hope we see each other soon. Hi, I'm Joellen Lind, and I'm one of your professors in the first year of civil procedure, and I'm so excited that you're going to be a law student at Valparaiso University Law. 
I think embarking on a legal education is going to be one of the most demanding, exciting, challenging things that you'll ever do in your life. I believe that it transforms people because the law really impacts on everything that matters in the way humans get along with each other, from the criminal law to the way they do their business transactions, to their families, to their constitutional rights. It's really amazing what we're trying to teach you about over three years. I think the thing that's also so important for you to remember is that this is like actually getting a job. You're entering a profession from the first day that you walk into the law school. And I like to tell my students that it's important to think about the person who's missing in the room. And who do I mean by that? Well, there's me. I'm your professor who's going to be trying to teach you about the American court system and civil procedure. And then there'll be you. You're the person who's going to be doing the reading and trying to figure out answers to difficult cases. But then there's your future client who's going to hope that you'll really be engaged in learning about the law with your heart and soul. I certainly will be approaching teaching you that way because that's what really matters to me about being a professor here. So welcome. I hope you have a wonderful time learning about the law. Hi, my name's Kurt Chukowski. I'll see you in the first year in torts, class of torts, and if you are interested in things like patents, trademarks, and copyrights, what we call intellectual property, you can see me in either your second or third year. I have some great news for you. Your admission to Valparaiso Law has rendered your LSAT irrelevant. The number's over. Relax. Take a deep breath. You're all one else, starting this journey from the same point. This is a fresh start for all of you. It's important that you understand that we admitted you, not because we think you might get through the first year. We admitted you because we know you can graduate from law school. You are, in fact, capable, and you are able. Trust us. We've been at this for over 132 years. I've only been here for the last 100. We know what we're doing. Relax, dig in. Welcome to the first day of your legal career and welcome to the firm. We're delighted you're here. Hi, welcome to Valparaiso Law School. My name is Faith Alvarez, I'm a 2L and my advice is to find a place to hide Go there, do all of your class readings, and don't trust anyone else's outline. Hello, welcome to Valparaiso Law. My name is Charles Bush and I'm a current 3L. If I had to give advice to, a, to an incoming 1L, I would say first, keep up with your reading and your assignments. If you don't keep up, it makes it that much harder to study for finals at the end of the semester. And I would also say, don't get intimidated. A lot of your classmates say they, they've read three weeks ahead and say that they're really on top of their work and they know everything and it's really not true. So I would say just keep up with your reading, keep up with your assignments and don't get intimidated by your classmates and just run your own race and worry about your work and you'll be okay. Welcome to Valparaiso Law. My name is Christina Asper. I'm a 2L. Um, my advice for the incoming 1Ls would be to take comfort in the fact that everyone's scared and everyone's just as nervous as you are. You'll all be confused at some point, if not the majority, of, of the time during your classes. So just relax, you're all in the same boat. Find a friend that you're close with, uh, you can take breaks with. It's really nice to have someone who's going through the same thing you are and can help you through it. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Valparaiso University. My name is Jennifer Lee and I'm a 1L. Gonna be upcoming 2L next year. Anyways, I'm here to give you some simple tips to have successful first year as a 1L. So the first tip that I have, after looking at my note card, is to always make a schedule. Um, my dad always told me before I came to law school that there's 168 hours in a week. You only spend about 16 of those hours in actual class time. And from the advice that everyone's given me, you're supposed to spend about two to three hours for every credit hour studying. So with that being said, it's kind of hard to allocate that much time. So the best thing for you to do is just write a schedule out. From waking up to when you want to eat, when you're going to study, when you're going to have fun when you're going to do whatever it is that you like to do. The second tip I have is do not fall behind on assignments. Do not fall behind on assignments. It's really hard to catch back up sometimes. So my best advice is to just, if you can't read a reading in time for a class, my goal was always at least finish the readings within one week. So if I fell behind on a reading for one night of schoolwork, I at least finished it by the next set, the next class time, the next week. Um, the third tip I have is, is one of my favorite ones. 
is to get to know your class. You know, there's a lot of students here from a lot of different backgrounds. Everyone's here for the same reason, essentially, is to graduate from law school. You know, you gotta have people, make some friends that you can have fun with, and then make friends that are in your class that you can share notes with, and have study groups with, and get information from. And then also, don't forget to get involved with some activities here that the school has to offer. There's a lot of networking and social events for students to have here. And they actually turn out to benefit. A lot of people have gotten wonderful internships through these events. And the fourth and final tip is to make sure that you stay focused. Um, a lot of people come here sometimes and think it's similar to an undergraduate experience where, you know, you're just going to read a little bit here and, no, it's nothing like that. It's a bit more intensive and time sensitive. So it's important that you work really hard and reach your goals. Uh, my goal here is to graduate and possibly be an attorney for a hospital one day. So I'm going to make sure that I reach my goal and work hard. Um, another way to stay focused is to set all of your goals out. For example, I had a certain GPA I wanted to reach and accomplish, and I did that. So, thanks for sitting and listening to me today. Hi, welcome to Valpo Law. My name is Susie Niemeyer. I'm a rising 2L. And my name is Elizabeth Perez, and I'm also a rising 2L. And welcome. <laughs> uh, the advice we give you, um, my best advice, is time management. Learn how to manage your time well. Uh, they'll give you lots of opportunities for extra things to do here, which is great, but you need to know uh, how to prioritize and be able to utilize your time here the best possible way. And adding on what Susie said, I think time is important, and in tandem with that is getting enough sleep. Don't um, kind of over-exhaust yourself and spread yourself too thin. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep. Um, another time management skill is make sure you're studying throughout the semester so you don't cram all at once in the end. Um, try to alleviate stress when you can. Uh, it's really, it's not, not so bad. You can do it. We did it. So, um, you know, we commend your effort. And you'll have big breaks during the day through classes. Use those to your advantage, and that will help you sleep at night. If you have less studying at night, you get it done during the day. Uh, that'll help. It's all time management, and, and you can do it. Um, one more thing that we'd like to say is that use your professors. If you're in class and you're struggling, they are awesome. They're there to help. So go use their office hours, reach out to them, um, reach out to other um, you know, students as well. We're all going to be colleagues one day and definitely use each other as well as the professors as a resource. Everyone here is great and really nice and easy to talk to, so definitely use them. Welcome class of 2016. My name is Lakshmi Janthi and I'm going to be a third year law student this fall. Now in my two years of law school, I've learned a lot of things, but the main thing that I've learned is that law school is all about organization and balancing. The number one thing to do in law school is be able to balance your life. Everybody has things to do in their downtime, and I encourage you to have downtime every single week. But understand that you're coming to law school specifically to study law, so have that as your main priority. But don't forget to have that downtime because you will get burnt out if you don't have the balance between relaxing and law school. But remember, law school is what you make it. Put into it as much as you can and you will get back threefold. So sit back, relax. Law school is going to be a world-run experience and I can't wait for you guys to get started. Thank you.